Hello and welcome to episode 62 of my Working With Todoist series. In this episode, I want to show you how Todoist can work with your Gmail application. Now, I must point out that what I'm going to show you today only works on the desktop version of Gmail running through Chrome. Oh, actually, it does work through Safari as well. Um, but I've tested this on my mobile devices and it doesn't actually work quite the same way. Maybe that will be a future update to the Gmail application from Google in a future update. But for now, this works beautifully on the desktop version. And for those of you who are working in an office environment all day, and often when I'm working in a coffee shop, because my company email runs through Google and so does my personal email, I often have my uh, Chrome uh, browser open because I use my Chrome browser as my work browser, my Safari browser as my personal browser for what reading news and stuff like that. And by the way, guys, that's one of my little secret productivity tips. Chrome browser only used for work. And that means there's no Facebook, uh, fa there's no Facebook notifications, there's no Facebook bookmarks or Twitter bookmarks or anything. Chrome is just purely for work related stuff. This avoids any possibility of me getting stuck in the rabbit hole of Facebook and Twitter procrastination. Anyway, I go off the point. So let's have a look at how um, Todoist works with Gmail. Now, before we get started, what I should do is I should show you that what you need to do is you need to get the Todoist for Chrome and the Todoist for Gmail extension. So what we do is we go into the web store, which I'll click on here, and the easiest way to do this is to type in Todoist into your, <coughs> uh, if I can spell, must be having a bad day today, so we click on that. And just to make sure that you get the right ones, what you're doing is you're looking for offeredbytodoist.com. So this is the application that you need. And down here, you get the extension for Gmail. Sorry, this one here. Um, to do it um, for Gmail offered again. Make sure it says offered for by todoist.com. Now you need both. The application is going to work uh, from the. Uh, let me just open up another window for you, and I'll click onto my apps. So the application will work from here, and what that does is basically just takes you into your version of Todoist. Over here, though, the extension is linked, sorry, to do is for Gmail, this is the one that you want. This one actually works directly in your Gmail application. I think it's very important that you get both of them or else this isn't going to work. Okay, so let's come out of the Chrome Web Store and go back into my email and we'll open up this to do is test email. Now, what I what you will get once you have this extension uh, including your Gmail. First of all, you're going to get your Todoist down here. So you can click on the little line burrow and you've got all your tasks that you have to do today is down there, which is wonderful. You can click them off from uh, Todoist. You can add tasks from Todoist and you can go into specific projects if you wish from this menu. So this is a handy little tool if you're working in, to do it, uh, in Gmail. Uh, you can get straight into your uh, tasks straight from there. Now, what you've got here is when you have the Gmail extension, though, one of the amazing things is you get this wonderful button up here called Add. And this is going to save you so much time. Now, quite often I use Safari, uh, sorry, I use Apple Mail, particularly on my mobile devices, and usually when I'm working from home on my desktop. But if I need to send an email, directly to my Todoist inbox. I have to click forward and then click Todoist and then it will go straight into my Todoist inbox. So there's a few clicks involved in that. But if you're using the Gmail plugin for Todoist, all you need to do is click on this add button. So I click on add. It comes up quick add task, add the task. Now, one of the things that I really, really like about sending email directly from uh, from Gmail to Todoist is because what I do is I get the title of the email. So the title of the email is Todoist test email here. 
and that comes up here uh, the note will give me the body or the note should give me the body it doesn't but there you go um, but what I can do is if I click out of my um, my Evernote go into my desktop version this is my desktop this is not my desktop that's my Chrome version this is my desktop version um, I just need to give it a, a refresh it so let's just go into uh, sync it should come in there we go to do his test email has come in now my browser in here is set up for Safari but when I click on this now this will open up in my Gmail in and obviously I've got to sign in but that's okay um, so I'm gonna sign in and it will open up that email for me so now we're signed in let me just click on that that should go, take me directly to the email actually it doesn't yes it does it does take me directly to the um, the email and it certainly if you're using Chrome as your main browser then that's just going to open up the email and boom you're ready to go now if I had done it my usual way and I haven't opened mail on my laptop so let me just open mail on here if I'd done it in my usual way um, here's the test email now from Apple Mail I have to forward that email to a Todoist which I'll do so that goes straight to my inbox so I'm going to send that off so we can come out of that one and just give you a few minutes to come in and I should say sync maybe it's going to come in yes there we go now what you notice is now this email is not actually clickable I've just got FWD for forward and I would have to go into here and I can see what the email says but it doesn't I would then still have to come out of Todoist and go straight into my email to actually get to that email I much prefer doing it this way because it's faster it takes me directly to the email and boom I can get straight into work I think that is one of the best things that if you're a Gmail user for your email then you really and you use Todoist then you really do need to download the Todoist extension for Gmail it is fantastic okay I hope you found that useful uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to get the latest information and the latest tutorials as and when I do them and also please don't forget to um, join our Jay Miller's productivity in tech Facebook group I'll put a link in the notes below it's a fantastic group where people of who are all interested in, to, uh, in productivity will be are there to help you and to give you advice and to answer any questions and please get involved and uh, share your ideas on, on productivity because that's how the community is working okay I wish you all a very very productive week and I'll see you in the next episode <laughs>